Okay, well, we made our transparency in Photoshop and then we printed it on our printer and now we're ready to use our resist and make our template with which to do our parablasting. So, I'm going to put this right over here and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our resist that we use. Here it is, the amazing purple vinyl. Now when we're using this, this is a light sensitive material. So it's a good idea not to expose it to pure bright light before you're ready to use it because it will expose it just like a photograph negative. So just so that you know how it's used, there's two sides. There's a real glossy side and then there's a side that's kind of satiny that's a little bit sticky. Well, the shiny side is actually a piece of acetate. It's called a carrier sheet and in a sense it's holding all of that vinyl, the purple sticky part, onto it. Because after we expose this sticky part of here and glue it onto our glass, we're able to flick the corner and pull the clear part right off and it leaves what's left of our resist. So, we're going to get ready to put this on and all you have to remember when you do this work with your resist is when you look at your pattern, the way you want to look at it, in other words, if it says DOG dog, you want to make sure that the sticky part is going to go down right on top of the lettering the way you look at it. Once you do that, we're going to take it into our nice little exposure right over here, and we're going to expose it for just a short period of time. So, now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the lights, so you may not see as much of me, but you will see our light exposure right over here, and we'll explain the rest of it. Well, we've turned our light off, our regular overhead light, and we've now put on a yellow light on here, just a regular bug light that you can buy at the hardware store, and we got a little fixture for it, because this will not expose our resist. So now, I've got a nice big piece of resist for our picture that shows our parrot. And this is the side that I want to look at all the time. That's going to be the front picture. So what I want to make sure is that I put the sticky side right on top of it, just like that. because that's going to get glued right onto the glass and then when we pull the clear part off that will go all of the part that's black will not get cooked by the light so that when we spray the water on it it will wash that right away but all the other part that's all clear will will stay because it has been exposed and it's been cooked by the ultraviolet light that we use in our exposure light right here. So, as you can see, we have our electroset light exposure, and what we do is we're gonna put we're gonna put this so that our clear transparency is on the top of the plastic, just like that. You want to make sure, and this is really the cardinal rule you want to make sure that your resist is facing or is away from the light. You don't want to put your resist facing down because otherwise you won't get anything exposing it. So our resist is on top, our acetate is on the bottom, and we're going to cover this over and you can either latch it on the bottom and all I've got to do is expose this. A good idea for exposing is roughly about 20 seconds and if you want a good way on that usually it's about two clicks on the timer there but you can also use a stopwatch so all I'm gonna do is turn this on for two clicks and you'll see the ultraviolet light sticking out of the side there's our two clicks 
and it's exposing itself nice and fast. Okay, that's that. We're all exposed. All righty. Well, here we are at the sink, and we have our, our sprayer connection right here. And you can go to the local hardware store, and you can get the connection for your sink. So you'll be able to, instead of using a garden hose connection, you can hook this right up to your kitchen sink, just like this. So we're all ready. We've got our yellow light pointing right in front of us, and we're going to wash out our resists. It's a good idea to use some nice warm water on this. And we're just going to use the clipboard that you get with the Parablaster. And I'm just going to clip it in just the top, just barely even the eighth of an inch. Don't need it to do it any more than that. There we go. And now it's time to wash it out. And so what's going to happen while we're washing this out, it will start to turn a little milky white. And then you'll see it'll clear out after that. So let's wash this out right now. And it should only take us just about two minutes, three minutes at the most. And you can already see there's the pattern of our parrot already showing up. But you can see it's kind of a dark, a transparent milky color. It's kind of like a, a lavender color. But that's all right because eventually you're going to see that it will turn white. And then our resist will be all ready to go. And all we have to do is dry it off and let it cure for a little bit. And by the way, now that we've gotten this exposed and washed this off, the moment that you hit water on this, you have just cured it. You can, if you like, you can put your regular light on, and that's okay. There we go. Now, the, one of the nice things about doing this resist is you know right when it's going to wash out. Once you have it washed out, do not go and spend a bunch of extra time. Now, you can see up here... It's just starting to wash off that milky part, and that means we're seeing right underneath it. So we're almost done with this. See how fast that was to do? And when you're doing 100 glasses, you'd be surprised how fast you can go through doing 12 sheets of this instead of one resist at a time. You go through a sheet with 12 patterns on it. Okay, you know what? We're all done. We are all done with this. So let's go and just turn on our regular light. And we'll take a look at our resist. Now it's looking pretty good. But you know what? I've missed just a couple little bits on the edge there. So you know what? I'm just going to give it another quick little blast right over here on the one side. There we go. And, you know, that does happen occasionally where you think you've got all of it. All right. Now we're just going to use our, our air dryer. That's a good old regular dryer for your hair. And we're just going to lightly dry it off so that we can hang it up so it can dry. You notice how you can see some of it is... Uh, light purple and some of it's darker kind of almost like a white washing well that's just the fact that the resist takes a little time to dry and it goes through color changes as it dries and by the way while we're doing our drying if you don't do the drying right away you have a chance of having some of the resist bubble up because as it gets wet it is water soluble and it will bubble up when you get it too wet. That's why after we're done with it, you'll notice that you have to wash it off to get all the resist off. Well, it's still water soluble. So just make sure you dry it as soon as you're done blasting it. Okay?